Okay, so let's see if I can show you the other way. I've already cut three strips, two of them about the same length. I've rounded the edges and the third one is my compression strip. It all depends on how much you need. Um, I measured this from roughly there to fold over here. Remember, we never ever end tape on tape. So if you have to cross it over, it has to finish just across. All right. So generally you'll tape, I tape my compression strip last, but you can tape it first. Uh, entirely up to you. Uh, you would tape it from the top of the shoulder down, tear section. Again, same thing if you're taping this side, you put your hand behind, taping the back, cut it. So I put it kind of above the shoulder there at an angle going up. So kind of there. Give it a good rub. Loosen it. Then place it, and then with as little stretch as possible, just you pull on this one, and that kind of pulls it with you. See? The tricks of the trade. Second one, try not to let them overlap at the top. Okay, fold it over, hand behind the back, place it and then just start pulling. I put my thumb on this side to kind of guide it when I pull, guide. Now, that's actually too long. It shouldn't go that far, but it is what it is. Give the rub. And then decompression strip. Fold it in the middle. Tear it down the middle. And again, you can either put it over here or on the top. Depending where your pain is. Mine's in there. So it's kind of in the middle. Stretch. Place, rub, no stretch, pull, away. Again, I put my finger here to guide it and I pull. Shoulder. Hmm.